Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name's David and this is a deck review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. We're doing a deck review and uh, I know you're looking at that deck and you're like, huh? We're just gonna review the standard red 808 Rider backs. No, <laughs> that'd be silly. No, uh, look, read, index only, index only. What does that mean? What does that mean? It means it's a whole deck of index only playing cards. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so you can pick this up in red or blue from playingcarddecks.com or wherever quality playing cards are sold, $5.15. Uh, this makes great gaff cards, right? Or uh, you could make your own cards, literally. You could write on the middle the center part and make your own cards. And do you know what else I love? The classic tuck case. I love the full back. Oh my gosh, I missed that back design. I wish they'd bring it back. I wish they did all their tuck cases like that. I, I missed that back design. The only thing uh, really is the fact that it says index only. That's, that's really it, right? And your spectator, they would never know what that meant. So if you wanted a, you wanted a nice tuck box, you'll get one with the index only playing cards. What am I showing you? I'm showing you red rider backs. Yeah, it's a deck of red rider backs, exactly like you'd expect. United States Playing Card Company, Eric Christian Finish, traditionally cut, yeah, traditionally cut, and blank face, right? Except for the index, right? Because it's index only. Yes, kids, say it with me. So two jokers, right? There's your ace of spades. See, so there's your cards. So like I said, you could do some fun trick, like a gaff trick where, you know, the center of the cards disappear. Courts are the same, right? So you, you, something like that. Or you can bust out a Sharpie marker. I mean, think about cards that we use to have the spectator sign. What a great deck to have the spectator sign. They can literally make their own card, right? You said this is, you know, you selected the King of Diamonds. Hey, you could make your own King of Diamonds. Why don't you draw a little king? and uh, make, give him a sword and you know, make him however you want. Stick a flower in his hand. Hey, like, hey, you got the eight of clubs. You wanna make your own eight? You know, like make eight symbols, make eight stars or eight moons, or whatever like that. You, know, you could use this as your regular deck, but a deck you'd know, this would be a great ambitious card deck, right? Because now the spectator can make more than just their name. They can make, uh, why am I showing you all these cards? <laughs> you obviously know what they're gonna look like. Hey, a blank face, ooh, and a double backer. You always need those for magic tricks. But yeah, like I said, uh, be a fun, fun deck for ambitious card. See, this is why you tune in to Magic Orthodoxy every single day. This is why you come back, because I'm gonna show you fun things that nobody else is gonna show you, right? You're never gonna see this on any other channel, right? Nobody else, none of those, none of those serious guys, <laughs> right? They're not gonna show you this and you're not gonna get that cool idea, right? What a cool idea. What a cool idea to do with Ambitious Card, especially if you got uh, humor or, you know, wanna do a little bit of a dark side or an adult side, right? It, this could totally be an adult joke or whatever, right? Give the spectator a, a Sharpie marker and let them go to town, right? Or, or you. You could make up your own personalized cards, right? If you wanted to. So I think there's a lot of cool opportunities, a lot of cool ideas that you could do with this. Or like I said, just do color changes. Just do color changes and wipe the, the face off and, and use it as, uh, as a blank. You know, if you had a tattoo, like if you had a tattoo of the Eight of Diamonds on your arm, you could do a trick with the Eight of Diamonds and make the Eight of Diamonds disappear, right? Disappear off the card and onto your arm. And they could see the blank, so. Another great idea. So yeah, just get your mind rolling. All the different things uh, you could do with this. You got an idea? Did I just inspire you? Did I just give you an idea? Tell us down below. Tell us down below another idea that you could use the index only playing cards for, okay? Let's, let's build community. Let's share ideas. Big huge thanks to playingcarddex.com for allowing me to have this so I could do the review for you. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.